first thing first, you need to go to VMware website to download VMware Fusion. Since Apple Silicon is an ARM-based chip, it's used for um, Mac Pro books, iPad Pro, and recently also added to iPad Air, uh, which is why here we need to download the VMware ARM64 DMG, otherwise it won't be compatible. Once it gets downloaded, we are kicking off the installation process. Of course, on the way, you have a few security settings you need to enable in your system preferences. You also need to apply for a free license key if this is for personal use. Once it's installed, we can go to the website to download our OS image to create your very first virtual machine. Here we are going to Ubuntu server. Um, also, just notice that this is an ARM-based architecture, uh, which is why uh, for the OS need to be also compatible. So here we are going to download the Ubuntu server for ARM. Here we choose the uh, Ubuntu 20.04 latest version. And once you download it, you can create your very first virtual machine. And it's very straightforward process. You just need to select the image. Then we can see how much memory and CPU you want to allocate to this virtual machine. Then finish the setting and we are about to kick off our installation process officially. And once you get into the interface where you will install Ubuntu, it's also quite straightforward where you just need to, you know, um, get through a couple of settings. The important thing is really to make sure you and you can choose a name and your server name um, from here too. And uh, which we can use uh, to log into the server afterwards. As you can see, when we log into the system, uh, use a password and username. And basically, uh, it's really very raw environment here. And uh, you know, even when I am trying to get an IP of this, if config will not work, I will need to install the LED tools to be able to see the network setting of this virtual machine. Therefore, I will do an installation here. Then, voila, I get my IP address, um, which I will be using uh, so I can connect from the terminal of my M1 MacBook. So here, I'll pull off the terminal. And for the terminal here, uh, I've basically used my SSH because in doing the installation process, I have already included the SSH server. Therefore, I can use SSH, then username uh, at my IP address. Uh, so if you just use this command, it should be very straightforward for you to connect from your local host. So this is it. This is how you create your very first virtual machine in your M1 MacBook. Of course, in this video, I was using Ubuntu as an example. So it's the same experience if you want to install Windows for gaming purpose, for example. You can go to Microsoft website to download uh, Windows 10 on ARM uh, preview version, which I will put a link in the description. It's going to be very similar uh, with the process we showed off in this video. Alright guys, thanks for your time and if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below and till then I will see you guys around.